Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, and uh, salam sejahtera and good morning to everyone uh, so today I would like to present my uh, PhD uh, progress okay so I am Nuliana Binti Baharin okay so now I am in semester 5 2023 and 2024 so my Proposed title for my PhD is Optimal Electric Bus Charging Coordination Strategy Using Hybrid Artificial Intelligence with Demand Site Management for Campus Facility under Enhanced Time of Use Itau Tarif. So my supervisor is Prof. I.R. Dr. Nofriya Nita Dahlan from UITM. My co-supervisor is T.S. Dr. Muhammad Fahri Soima from UTEM. Okay, so this will be my uh, content or outline for my presentation today. So first we'll see the background of research and then the problem statement, the objective, literature review outline, research framework, methodology and result, gun chart, progress and lastly planning for next semester. So let's see a little bit about my uh, research okay, or study. So due to climate change and air pollution contributed by many sectors in the world, including transport, transportation sector, so the contribution of the air pollution from transportation sector is 14.8% okay, from North America, Europe 8.7%, Latin America 8.5%, Asia and Pacific 7.4%. West Asia 6.3% and Africa 3.6%. So this is the contribution of the air pollution from the transportation. So uh, this drive many countries to have a zero emission vehicle, including electric cars, electric vans, electric trucks, and also electric buses. Okay. So one of the heavy duty vehicles that can contribute to air pollution reduction is electric bus, because buses are widely used in many places such as school bus, shuttle bus, tourist bus, express bus, and many more. So and only in 2022, electric buses are sold nearly 66,000 units worldwide. Okay. So the detailed research has been done in three. Okay. In three is the NAP uh, report, which is highlighted in the NAP 2014. Malaysia government planned to adopt 100,000 unit electric vehicle and provided initiative of Ringgit Malaysia, 150 million to implement electric buses. So in, a, in NAP, okay, 2020, the core target is focused on the automotive industry, which the aims of 4EB was highlighted as follows. Okay, so the highlighted one is this to stimulate the application and uh, manufacturing of local battery packs, battery together with enhancement of BMS. Number two, to establish standard to promote uh, wireless charging and battery swapping. Number three, to establish standard for proposal and recycle of batteries. Number four, developing practicability research on hydrogen full cell technology. Number five, build EB smart charging interoperability centers. Number six, employ wheel to wheel okay, model in the competition of emission of EB. So this one is highlighted in NAP 2020, focusing on the uh, electric vehicle. Okay, so uh, we'll uh, proceed to the pros, uh, problem statement. Okay, so problem statement number one, automated focus in NAP 2020 and clever program launched by government encourage using EB and BEB. Okay, battery electric bus or electric bus. More BEB or uh, electric bus expected to be used in campus facility. This will lead to increase of energy demand and contribute high peak load. Okay, therefore, proper EB charging coordination at campus building need to be done considering BEB, battery size selection and also BEB charging scheduling. Okay, so in Malaysia, there are, there are not too many uh, uh, what are uh, campus that have the electric bus as their uh, transport okay so for problem statement number two the lab study of study on using the PSO algorithm to optimize the electric bus charging schedule in campus facility 
The EV shadow charging in campus area in University of Campinas, Brazil was done using rolling horizon approach and consider the sustainable charging station in their charging depot. So there are numerous number of research also focus on the optimization of EV charging schedule but using other methods such as meta heuristic optimization like VNS and also mathematical optimization. Okay, so in my project, I will focus on using PSO to optimize the EP charging schedule. Okay, uh, problem number three, there are limitation on the related research area to consider simultaneous EP charging load management strategies with meta heuristic optimization algorithm for a tau theory scheme in campus facility. So for problem number three, uh, there are limitation on this uh, area. So, for assessment number four, in Malaysia, there is no implementation of a specific tariff scheme for BEB charging load at camp campus building. Okay, as we know, in Malaysia, we have the uh, tariff scheme uh, only for the using for the commercial and also for industry. Okay, so we want to see that uh, the existing uh, tariff uh, is suitable for this. Okay. So, it is important to formulate the optimum tariff that is suitable for both existing campus load and also the EV charging load that can give benefit to both consumer and also power utility. Okay, so for, for my objective, I have three objectives for this uh, research. Objective number one is to develop the electric bus charging schedule for campus facility using fuzzy logic algorithm considering Mamdani type fuzzy inference system. Objective number two, to formulate an optimal electric bus charging schedule for campus facility to minimize energy costs and also to maxim and also the maximum demand using PSO algorithm considering ETAO tariff. Objective number three, to enhance the optimization of the electric bus charging schedule okay, for campus facility by integrating load management strategies using PSO considering ETAO tariff. So, to... Uh, to summary, object number one, I will develop the EP charging schedule based uh, using FL. Number two, object number two, I will optimize the EP charging schedule okay, that are uh, produced by your object one using PSO. Number three, I will integrate the EP charging schedule. Uh, I will integrate the EP charging schedule and also the load management okay, uh, using PSO. So this is the objective mapping for the objective mapping to the problem statement okay objective one is uh with ps1 objective two ps2 objective ps2 and ps4 objective three is ps3 and ps4 so this is the literally we outline for thesis okay so i have uh 10 outline uh, 10 outline for the chapter two okay introduction electric buses okay charging strategies for electric bus dsm in eb Enhance the OE tau tariff, uh, AI in EB charging coordination, integration of uh, DSM and NI in EB, EB implementation in campus, CAP in the research and also conclusion. So this is the research framework for objective one, okay, which is objective one, I have three stages of uh, method, okay, met stage one is um, doing the data pre-processing. Stage 2, fuzzy logic algorithm for EV charging priority. Stage 3 is development of electric bus charging scheduling. Okay. So, this is the work plan. Okay. And the outputs. For objective 2, uh, for objective 2, uh, I will uh, conduct the PSO. Okay. To optimize the FL in the EB charging schedule that produced from uh, objective 1. Okay. So here I will set the constraint uh, and also uh, the objective function for this uh, objective too is to minimize the energy consumption during the charging. Okay, so now objective number three, okay, uh, uh, I will enhance the optimization of the electric bus uh, charging schedule by integrating load management strategies which is I will apply the load shifting, okay, to see the 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 cost, okay, the cost and the demand. So this is the methodology and the result. Okay, this one is uh, objective one. 
Okay, so for objective one, okay, stage one, okay, uh, this is my main uh, input lah, input, okay. So this uh, figure 2A, okay, so existing, uh, I have the existing bus schedule, UTEM, okay, which is currently UTEM is not using EB, but um, for this purpose of research, uh, there will be a, it is a sound assume that UTEM will have a electric bus, okay, so uh, in future, okay, so from figure 1A is the map of the UTEM, okay, 1B is the map, uh, the location for different destination and location for the bus of UTEM. Figure 2 is the bus schedule for daily operation, okay, so total bus is 26 buses, uh, 20 with 4 seats and 6 with 20 seats. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, breakdown of the distance. Okay, breakdown of the distance for each buses. So, according to the bus trip lah. Okay, bus trip number 2, number 3, number 4. So, we have total 8 trip. Okay, 8 and 7 and 8. Okay. So, these are the bus. Okay, the total distance for daily uh, travel. Okay, daily travel. For Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay. So for Monday, for uh, for example, for Monday, bus one travel one day twenty five point five nine kilometers per day. Okay. For Tuesday, one hundred twenty five point five nine, and also for until Thursday, Friday, uh, eighty five point two eight kilometers. So, uh, same goes to bus one, two, three, and four because at one time four bus is going out to uh to operate. Okay, so there are eight different routes. Okay, this one is the EB uh, electric bus model selection. So based on the seat number, okay, uh, the capacity of the bus, I choose these two model, BYD K7M and also BYD K9MD. BYD K7M have two twenty two seats. <laughs> Uh, battery capacity 115 kilowatt hour maximum range or driving range there uh, 254 kilometer so this bus will have eight units okay uh, the number of bus is 17 to 24 i will use this number bu bus number uh, for the analysis uh, however for byd k9 md there is a 42 plus one seat okay uh, battery capacity 446 kilowatt hour maximum range is 327 kilometer number of buses is 18 units and the number bus number is 1 and 16 35 and 36 so total number of buses is 26 units okay so this one is the eb charges okay so uh, i will use the overnight charging okay since uh the bus is operated during uh during day the day so uh they will be, the charging should be on the night charging okay so i choose two because this one is 150 kilowatt and this one is fast charging 360 kilowatt 150 kilowatt charger have a sequential charging which is it can charge up to three for one modular it can charge up to three uh, buses at one time okay and for Hel Helix Flex, it doesn't have the sequential charging, but the power is 360 kilowatt, so means that it has a very fast charging lah. Okay. So this one is the load demand or power demand, power consumption for the building in uh, UTEM. Okay, for weekday. Okay, this one is date from 10-9 until 39. Okay, this is the uh, tariff that I will be used in my uh, research, which is flat tariff uh, will be used uh, for comparison. So, this is the ETAO. So, ETAO, we have uh, 
3 time zone okay of peak mid peak and peak okay and also the charge uh, demand charge for the maximum demand okay so i go to the stage number 2 so this one is stage number 1 sorry this is uh, the operational scheduling for electric bus charging which is uh, this is to routing to get the distance estimation for daily uh, travel uh, to calculate the SOC okay, based on the distance and also EB specification and the EB charging requirement. Okay, we need to um, to know how many charges uh, enough for to charge the uh, EB at one night. Okay. Prior to the maximum buses need to be charged, charged at one night lah. Okay. So this one is the distance. Uh, sorry, SOC. Okay. The table output one is SOC of each EB. Okay. From bus 1 until 26. And bus uh, output two is the EB charging schedule or EB charging day. Okay. For example, okay, we noted that in this table there's only one and zero okay one is uh noted as need charging and zero is no need to charge okay for example for monday bus one no need to charge okay so it will charge on uh tuesday thursday and friday So output 3 is the number of charges. So the output from the uh, this simulation is uh, the number of 100 kilowatt charges needed 9 and number of 360 kilowatt charges needed 11. Okay. But I think it needs to be uh, optimized. Okay. So this one is the charging duration. Also get from the uh, same uh, algorithm. Okay. So for 100 kilowatt, 150 kilowatt EV charger, this is the uh, charging duration for each buses. Okay, for example, for bus one, Monday it uh, if but Monday we don't have any charger, any charging. Okay, for this one is 360 kilowatt EV charger for the uh, Monday to Friday. So this is the baseline on uh, or the power consumption for weekend. Also for the same month. Okay. So this is will be the input. Okay. For my uh, fuzzy logic. Okay. So now uh, this stage 2. The fuzzy logic. I use the fuzzy logic toolbox. Okay. So I have uh, two input. And also one output. Okay. So this setting of the uh, MF. Okay. The result. And this one is the allocation. So stage three to develop the electric bus charging schedule. So this is how I develop. So I assign the based on the SOC. Okay, I assign the priority priority level of the bus to charge, and come up with the uh, charging timetable. Okay, uh, objective two is uh, I will use the uh, PSO. Okay, I'm using the PSO now. Uh, I try to tune, okay, to, to, to tune the coding that I already done, okay. So, the result is uh, come out already, but the iteration is not converged. So, I have to tune the uh, coding to get the better conversions rate lah, okay. So, this is where I work now. So, objective 3, I also use PSO, okay. So the coding is already done, okay? Because uh, I just need the energy consumption uh, as the input, okay? The setting for the load uh, shifting and also the ETA or have been set already. Okay. So this is uh, the coding. Okay, this is also the coding. Okay, this is the. So I just uh, put uh, the baseline okay the baseline to see uh, the uh, coding is working okay so this be my uh, expected uh, the preliminary result okay so the best fitness versus iteration and also the load profile 
if you can see from this graph the blue color is the normal load profile and also uh, the red the, the red one is the uh, load shifting uh, load profile okay so that is my progress for object one two and three so this is my gun chart okay so now we are in january so actually i still uh, doing my uh, work okay while uh, while doing my uh, writing okay so progress for problem statement number one problem statement i said that 80 50 10 okay objective 80 50 10 scope 60 literature review 60 Okay, this is methodology 80-50-10, data collection 80-50-10 and also data analysis 60-30-10. This is writing introduction 50%, which review 60%, methodology 20%, result and discussion 10%, conclusion and recommendation. I'm not done writing yet. So this is the publication, conference paper, ICET on November and also the book chapter. Okay. So, my plan for next semester is the first one to complete the analysis part for objective one because I have on, uh, only on the um, analysis part. Then continue with coding for objective two and analyze the result. And also, when I have the uh, result from objective two, I will run the algorithm for objective three. Okay. And analyze the result. And planning for, uh, I plan to uh, write and Publish a journal paper for energy building which is due on 1 March 2024. So the team is achieving demand side management, demand response, energy efficiency, energy storage and energy equity which is um, have a, a similarity with my project. So next I want to continue this uh, thesis writing. So I think that's all for me. Thank you for your attention.